I recently got some hands-on time with Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. There's a lot of new features and way too many for me to cover, so I'm just picking out some things that are most interesting, good or bad. Obviously, this is all just my opinion, and shouldn't really be taken that seriously anyway, because, goddamn, we're all gonna play Smash Bros. regardless. So, let's get into it. I feel like this one actually needs a little bit more of a disclaimer. Again, this is all just my personal opinions. It's mostly just nitpicky shit and personal grievances, but overall, the idea is these are things I would like to see Nintendo do better, because I enjoy their games sometimes. With no further ado, Eight things they got wrong with Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Wii U home console video game machine device. Number eight. Smash Tour. I know, I know what y'all thinking. Oh, Smash Tour is cool. It's like a board game. Oh, it's, it's like yeah, obviously it's it's cool that there's an extra mode that you can play to do more with the video game. But I kept hearing it compared to you know Mario Party. And really, it has nowhere near the depth of Mario Party. As far as a board game goes, it's like a, an elementary school kid making his own board game on a poster board. Like, it's there's not a lot of depth there. You just run around a board for however many turns and try to pick up stat boosts. And then sometimes you run into things and you fight. But uh, overall, it's not super engaging. Uh, it's, it's really quite shallow. I think the ultimate test is going to be when it's out in the wild and you're playing it with your friends, and just seeing how much fun it actually is to do with your friends. Number 7! GameCube controllers. I know this is in my other video. It's great that you use GameCube controllers with this Smash Brothers game. However, it sucks that, as far as we know at this point, you will not be able to use the GameCube adapter or the controllers for any other Wii U games. Now, there was a bit of a confusion where at first it was posted that the GameCube controller and adapter would work on the Wii and the Wii U and kind of act as a surrogate for the classic controller, but it's since been retracted, and now they're saying that it will only be for Smash Brothers on the Wii U. Now, obviously, there's, you know, technical limitations that they couldn't make it work as a classic controller for other games than they couldn't, but... I'd like if they left the door open for future games on the Wii U to have GameCube controller compatibility, which it may or may not, but at this point it's like, here, buy all this extra equipment for one game. And as it is, most people just buy the Wii U for a few games that they want to play that are only on the Wii U. So that kind of sucks. Number 6. Amiibos. Again, this was in my other video where I said it was a good thing, but I also kind of hate it because, you know, while it's cool that you can customize your character and you can transfer them, and, you know, you can make them your own, you can train them, and all this other cool stuff. It's also just a way to sell you figures. And I, for one, try to keep my clutter down to a minimum. I don't like having more material possessions than I need to. And I definitely don't care about buying cute little figures of Nintendo characters. So it's cool if you like collecting and stuff like that, but for me, it's just, I just see somebody trying to sell me more crap that I don't need. Number 5! The Miiverse stage. So this is actually wrong in the best way, because we've all seen the Miiverse. I follow bad Miiverse posts on Twitter, it's hilarious. Um, but as much as Nintendo moderates the Miiverse heavily, there's still stuff that gets through. So a stage where Miiverse picture posts are just floating around in the background could go hilariously awry. Uh, I'm just, it's, someone's gonna get a dick in there and it's gonna be great, and it's also gonna be wrong. It's gonna be wrong in the greatest way. Number four. Still no goddamn Roy from Fire Emblem. What the fuck? So you've got Marth, and you've got Ike. So Marth is cool, you know, but he's a little too light, a little too floaty, a little too weak. And you've got Ike, who's way too heavy. Just takes forever to do anything, and uh, it's really annoying. I always, I, I always mained Roy in Melee, because he was kind of like the perfect medium. He was like Marth, but he had more power, uh, and he had cool red hair. And he's not in this one. However, they have Lucina, who is a female facsimile of Marth. She's virtually the same character. They have Robin from Fire Emblem, which I'm fine with, but they have the male and female version as costume changes. Why isn't Lucina a costume change for Marth and put Roy in there? I want to play as goddamn Roy, for fuck's sake. Hopefully they'll add him as DLC down the road. Number three, voice chat. So in the 50 Fact Extravaganza video, they, you know, roll out this voice chat feature like it's the dopest shit. How you can yell at your Wii U gamepad and talk to somebody else playing Smash Brothers online, but you can only do it before and after matches. You can't do it during a match, and they said to, you know, make sure that the internet connection is stable or whatever. And that's just kind of lousy. I want to be able to talk to people while I'm playing Smash with them. You know, I guess I'll just have to hop on Skype to do that now. Cool, good job. But that also kind of leads into my next point. 
Number two! Nintendo's notoriously crappy online service. So while they've added a bunch of new multiplayer features to the game, uh, you can take a local friend, you know, on the same way you, online with you to play as a team with random people on, you know, in online Smash matches. And that's kind of neat, but you can't play eight-player Smash matches online at all. Uh, the voice chat won't work while you're playing in a match. Also, in the 3DS version of Smash Brothers, every time I've played online, I've had at least a little bit of a pain in the ass with lag. And I'm just worried that the Wii U version is also going to have issues with lag. They, in the 50th Fact Extravaganza video, they show that you can use the Wii LAN adapter with the Wii U to help with that in case your Wi-Fi connection isn't strong enough, but is there really a Wi-Fi connection strong enough in the world to work with a Nintendo device? I don't know. I'm just worried about it. Number one! So my number one complaint with the Wii U version of Smash Brothers is actually that they've added so much that it's so good looking because it kind of makes the 3DS version look like shit. Uh, I bought the 3DS version with my own personal money because I, I had to play Smash. And uh, I've enjoyed it. There's a lot of neat, new, cool stuff in there. But there's just so much more in the Wii U version. And obviously there are limitations with the 3DS version. They couldn't put nearly as much stuff in there. But, you know, it just... The Wii U version just makes it look like shit now. I guess that's a good problem to have, that your follow-up product is so much better than the one that came out a, a month before it. Uh, but, man, that just... It really bites. It really bites. Overall, I'm still glad that I have the 3DS version, you know, I can play it on the bus, I can play it when I'm hanging out with friends or whatever, you know, at a bar or whatever I want to do. And obviously the Wii U version of Smash is still going to be great. We're all going to play it and love it and kick each other's asses and we're probably going to be playing it for the next 10 years or whenever the hell they make another one. Be sure to check out my much more positive counterpart to this video, the 8 things they got right with Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U home computer entertainment system for video games.